New at 10 tonight, remembering Eli forever. Today, a road in West Jordan renamed after a 13-year-old boy who sadly died after a drunk driver hit and killed him. That street is near 90th South and Redwood Road. KUTV's Amanda Gilbert there, live tonight, to share the story behind Eli Mitchell Way. Eli Mitchell Way is right behind me. It's next to the Home Depot in West Jordan. Now, Eli died in 2022, but this past year plus has just been so full of grief for this family. So seeing this means so much. More than a year after losing her boy, for Lisa Mitchell, the grief isn't easier. I'm going to be sad forever. I'm going to be sad every day, and that's okay. It's okay because... Because we love Eli so much. And it's sad that he's not here. Eli's dad, Jeremy Mitchell, drives by this spot all the time. Because I don't want to ever forget him. I won't ever forget him. But now, Lisa's idea quickly became reality after she asked City Council to rename this road. I had no idea it was going to happen this quickly. Mayor Dick Burton agreed. And it's important to have something they can hold on to. This sign is for Eli's family, but it's also for strangers. The man who had been drinking for six hours at a nearby bar, one minute after he left the bar, struck and killed Eli. It's to remind people to not drink and drive. And now because of that one choice, um, my son's gone. This didn't have to happen. The pain doesn't go away, but the Mitchells are channeling it for change. Channel into something that is hopefully good and hopefully, um, will help us heal and will be, be something that builds. Now this family actually gave me this bag of donuts. They told me that Eli was actually just grabbing this treat. He was not far from his home. He was on his bike when he was hit. And I sometimes think little things like this kind of remind us how you never know when something's gonna go wrong. So just so sad for this family. Again, today meant so much to them. Reporting live in West Jordan, Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News.